Good morning, everyone here. Uh, it's Candace Lee from Candace Lee Fired Up Independent Epic Gear Consultants and Meal Prep Wiz. And today I'm gonna to be making a pad thai. I will sh we'll get into that in a moment, but for those of you who uh, maybe don't know me, I am been with Epic Gear now as a consultant for three years. Actually, I just celebrated my third, uh, third, third year anniversary on the weekend, which is pretty cool. I am loving every moment. It's probably one of the amazing last three years. I mean, me, uh, I'm not saying that right. But the idea is that it's been pretty awesome for the last three years uh, being part of Epic Gear. Um, so many changes, so many things that's happened, uh, so much I can be grateful for. Um, I've transformed in a new person. Uh, things like like it's just awesome so just to kind of go with it is the I was quite sick with migraines I had them probably 25 a month I didn't know the difference of what it was like not to have one um, I was always in pain I was always tired I've always cranky <laughs> and I tried many different things with doctors and things and specialists um, and we would try and try but most of that stuff just doesn't really work or didn't work for me um, so until I decided that that was enough again, <laughs> after so many years of it, uh, I went to see a different naturopath, more aligned with me, like no nonsense, and went straight into, we gotta get rid of your anti, your, your sorry, you gotta get rid of inflammatories in your system. So let's change up a few things of your um, food to see if we can get more anti-inflammatory and less inflammatory items. So like dairy, red meat, alcohol, sugar, salt, all that um, is a factor. Um, and I was already eating pretty healthy before, but I just didn't think um, I was eating lean, lean protein, I was eating veggies, uh, but my sauces and spices were the problem. I didn't realize, or I didn't put it into perspective that the, ch the broth I was using or the teriyaki sauce or anything like that uh, was probably doing me damage um, as much as that. When you think you only use a tablespoon here or it's a cup of broth there where, you know, you, that's, you know, well, we all think, blind to it all, right? Uh, as soon as I switched over from my chicken broth with, you know, in the Campbell's form or whatever, in the liquid form, to Epicures, which I'll show you, which is this. <laughs> Um, it was almost night and day. I had a whole bunch of more energy given to me the next morning. I wasn't exhausted so much. Um, and then it just slowly went from there where I was able to uh, take back my health. Um, and it's a combination, yes, of what I was eating, but how I was eating it. And then um, once you realize there were things that I couldn't handle very much, which is myths and dairy, um, MSG, things like that, that they put in. Sodium is huge for me. It actually uh, makes me quite sick. So I have to watch how much sodium I have. Uh, what kind of oils I use, things like that. So I cook at home a lot more. Um, but when you do that, of course, at the beginning, you're like, I don't have time for this. I'm gonna run out of ideas if I can't have any other form of protein, uh, things like this. And that is also where Epicure came for me for like ideas. So I could, if all I could eat was chicken and broccoli, no problem, because I can make it Mexican one night, Thai, Italian, Greek, Asian, Indian and I could switch it all up and that was enough to, for me to be able to enjoy again eating and enjoy again cooking and then with the joy of cooking came more cooking and more trying out new recipes and getting back into the kitchen which I had missed and now I get to share that with everybody so my love of cooking and being creative here I just share out there with being an epic Care consultant and then I share what I've learned with my meal prepping and planning with my business meal, uh, Candice Lee Fired Up, where I help with weekly meal plans. Um, and the, what I help with more is just giving you creative ideas and then helping you with swapping ideas and helping you with little training videos of how to um, speed up things and not like your meal prepping doesn't have to take all day. It could just be an hour here, half an hour there, that kind of idea. And then you can go through um, your week with at least knowing that your like dinners are prepared or your breakfasts are prepared. So today I'm going to actually just show you pad thai and how easy that is. But if you have any questions about what I do and how I do it, about the biz and then how Epicure is awesome where I get you know paid in money to be able to share um, beautiful food that's clean and delicious. So clean um, for Epicure means like no gluten, no nuts, no MSG, no artificial flavors or colors, low in sugar and salt or none depending on what it is. 
Uh, none of that hydrogenated stuff. Uh, it's literally just seasonings and spices um, at the back. There's no anti-cakings either, which is why we have a really cool spoon to use. Um, which I'm not needing today, but it's our four one spoon and it's got little edges. So literally you can scrape around. Um, so you don't need the anti-caking. Um, and yeah, that's kind of what Epicure is. And also uh, raw to ready in 20 minutes, which is what I'm gonna show you here. Raw to ready in 20 minutes, pot pie. And in case you're curious about the sodium intake for the chicken broth and why it was such a night and day for me, Campbell's I think is like 900, something like that. And this one here is 80. 85, sorry, 85 uh, milligrams of sodium per uh, serving. And to make a serving for one cup of water, it's one and a half teaspoons of this um, yummy broth. And that's what it looks like. All right, let's go ahead and get started, right? Like stop talking and start giving me some food. This is a really cool wok. Uh, it is uh, can go into the oven too, which is pretty awesome. So we do that a lot. We'll make like pot, uh, pa, uh, pot pies <laughs> or uh, lasagnas or things and you can literally throw it into the oven. So it's pretty cool. Um, shatterproof lid, uh, which is great. Um, and good handles. Uh, yeah, so it's awesome. And nonstick in the middle or on the coating or whatever. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil in and then I'm going to dump in our chicken. And I'm making a little extra just because uh, uh, I do believe in the cook once, eat twice scenario. Uh, and today's uh, veggies I'm gonna be using, sorry, it's gonna be yellow beans that I got from the market um, and uh, cauliflower. But you can do this whatever you want. So on the back of the packaging, so this is what we're making at high. These are all the seasonings in here. And on the back, there's a full instructions. The bolded words. The bolded words here. Uh, seasoning, soy sauce, oil, chicken, bell peppers, eggs, rice noodles, bean sprouts, things like that. That's all your ingredients list that's bolded there for you. And you can choose to use this or adapt it. So I'm adapting a little bit. We don't do eggs here. Um, my husband doesn't like them, so I usually cook without them. Um, I'm not gonna make the rice noodles uh, at the moment. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna just make it into a lettuce wrap. But uh, because it'll be extra, I can make uh, rice noodles uh, later on and add it to the what's at left. And the bean sprouts didn't look very good at the store, so we didn't buy those. <laughs> uh, but we do have uh, the lime that we're gonna use, and yeah, and we're not gonna use bell peppers because I don't really like pepper, so there we go. <laughs> and now the ingredients on this, again, are right here, and so is the nutritional information. So um, we have organic coconut palm sugar, garlic, tamarind, onion, tomato, herbs, spices, and chives. Um, it's part of the non-GMO project. It's kosher, it's gluten-free, but every, everything we have is gluten-free. And everything else is written right there. So sodium here is 25 milligrams per uh, quarter of the package. And this, this package will actually feed uh, four people. All right, so we're gonna get the chicken going. Open up our package. Now, certainly this, it'll say to you to mix it all up uh, with a cup of hot water and then uh, then add it in. Um, I'm a little lazier with that, I guess. <laughs> I will just mix it all in here. Um, and you can as well if you don't want to have too many uh, dishes to clean. going for some hot water I'm just going to use our prep bowls if you haven't seen these uh, they're pretty awesome for me they're shatterproof as well because I've dropped them many times on the ground and they haven't broken but they will break if they hit like glass or a certain corners so I'm not saying they're not breakable just for me they're pretty damn close <laughs> uh, so uh, it actually does measurements on it so it's like three quarters of a cup half a cup, quarter cup, and then uh, the milligrams and everything. And it has a lid, which I forgot to pull out, uh, that can go on it. So you can use it as a cool little prep bowl you put into the fridge or take with you. 
Um, maybe you're doing like taco night and you want to pull out salsa and your guac or your veggies or your cheese. You can have it all ready. Go. And I'm just browning the chicken up a bit before I add in the sauce. Um, people, I, I do as well, when you're making the puddings that we have, uh, we just portion it out into these and they're great little snacks for the, for the week. And you will get four of these with the lids. This is the lid. There you go. Pops right on. Pretty cool. And there you are. All right. What else have we been using today? Well, we've been using um, our ceramic knife. This is the larger one. There's a pairing one as well. It comes uh, with its own guard, um, and it's ceramic, so it means it'll stay sharp for two years, and it's really good for cutting soft things like. Uh, even your chicken or tomatoes. Um, it's not for cutting up hard vegetables, no root vegetables. Uh, otherwise you'll dent it or chip it. So don't use it for those. Um, but for your like cucumbers, it's fine. Tomatoes, even cutting the chicken up, I did today was fine. All right, that is browning up. I'm gonna get the hot water and then we're gonna add in the seasonings and cauliflower and away we go. It's always good to have hot water or your kettle going in case you ever need to add a little extra water or anything to what you're making. So that's what the seasoning kind of looked like. I'm just going to mix it up and then add in the soy. Part of the meal prep I do is I will take vegetables, wash them, prep them a bit. Cauliflower is pretty easy, you just kind of rip it apart so it's not too concerned. Um, you do want to make sure you got lots of veggies if you're not having it in the sauce, which I personally like doing it this way because then it means um, less I need to fuss and it's all one bowl. Again, cleaning less. <laughs> all right, we'll put in the peppers after, or sorry, the beans because we don't want them overcooked. I think we need a little more cauliflower. And of course, the smaller the pieces, the faster everything cooks. Um, so it's a good idea to always chop up your chicken, your veggies uh, to bite-sized pieces, because then that definitely uh, speeds up everything. Okay, so then we did the water Three quarters of a cup of water with two tablespoons of soy sauce. Now I take it back, we will use our four one spoon. Okay, one. This one didn't get the memo, I'm on live, huh? All right, oops. Loud. All right, I'm going to turn down the heat now. Give that a couple of minutes. And then I will add the beans because I don't want them too mushy. Um, and then uh, give that a couple of minutes and then that's pretty much good to go. Uh, I will squeeze in a uh, lime and I will put them into a lettuce wrap for now for my breakfast. Otherwise, the rest will be for our lunch, and at that time, I will get uh, uh, some noodles going on in our uh, stainless steel pot. Um, this is a pretty cool pot. It's uh, this is 12 cups it'll handle, um, and the again, we love the whole idea of only one pot. So I don't know if you can actually see. I don't know. Anyway, there's measurements on the side. Can't really see it in there. Um, a good, a good. I don't know what they call it anyway. Really good handle, <laughs> um, and again, a good lid because it actually has uh, 
the sieves in it so then you don't have to again worry about making another dish to clean. Um, and there's an eight cup as well. Great for making uh, your mac and cheeses, your noodles, um, soups, whatever you like uh, to do in there. So they're pretty cool. And they're stainless steel so they can go on your induction top as well. All right, so that's growing, going, 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 going. All right, so if at any point in time you have questions at all about what you're seeing here, feel free to uh, put a question in now, put a question in later if you watch it in the replay, uh, send me a message, um, and yeah, and I can help you out with any of the questions you might have, anything I might have missed um, while talking here. So uh, Epicure uh, is, Canadian company that just went into the States as of like exactly a month ago actually. Exactly a month ago we were able to start selling into the States which means there's a lovely amount of uh, US consultants and customers uh, now part of Epicure which is super cool. Um, and otherwise we were here in Canada for like over 20 years. Um, started by a woman named Sylvie Rochette. Uh, who just started with seasoning and spices like a lemon dilly dip and the three onion and the CCB and went to markets and sold it that way and this and then was so much loved and she started creating more ideas and more ideas to the point that it made more sense to do uh, the direct seller platform. Uh, so again, it's people like us selling directly to people we know at meet at markets or meet at cooking classes, which is what we love to do, which is cooking classes like this. I would come into your home or your, you can come into mine and we'll make a meal together. So it's not me making it and you trying it, but you literally will get in here and you would have done most of all this um, and then get to eat it. And that's the whole thing of a cooking class is just make food together, you and your friends and your family, and then you eat it. And then you get to shop afterwards and buy all the lovely things uh, that you tried and, and fill up your grocery, do a lot of your grocery shopping uh, before you even go to the store or get online and go to the store because you can do it right with us. All right. Uh, which is uh, super cool. I love getting all of our groceries ahead of time and things that we need. Um, yeah, it's dehydrated seasoning spices, but then it's already there and I just have to go, well, I need the whole foods, which then you buy weekly or anyways, or every couple of days, right? Um, you can store up your protein if you eat meat into the fr uh, fridge or freezer, um, but your veggies you're gonna go through, right? So you're going out there anyways to get some lovely lettuce or beans or radishes or whatever, uh, whatever's local or what's happening right now, or, um, or have some frozen ones on hand. So I always have frozen peas and broccoli on hand at all times so that we, if we don't have any good uh, fresh vegetables, we have some frozen and away we go. All right. So that's a bit about cooking classes. That's a little bit about the history of Epicure. And now we're gonna add in the beans. Mm, looking pretty good, looking pretty good. And there's lots of sauce in there for the noodles. Um, we got so the chicken and some broccoli, or sorry, cauliflower and some yellow beans. Now obviously it would look probably more colorful if I use green beans, but the yellow beans look better in the grocery store or in the market uh, yeah, this week, so that's what I got. Uh, so as part of what I kind of talk about with meal prepping and planning is get what you can, what's local, what looks good, um, and just adapt it to whatever recipe you've got. Um, one of the things we do is when we come home from making from grocery shopping is we put things away a little bit um, more convenient. So our meat, our meat and all that has been portioned aside so we don't end up pulling out too much at once um, and getting bored with it. Uh, we will have veggies like if they're good for washing and chopping and all that, I'll do that. If it's good for just washing and um, mostly dry to wash and dry, put it all away. But there's a whole way of putting away your uh, veggies that I can talk, that I talk about in my meal prepping. A group that I have and yeah and otherwise all of it's kind of based on what Epicure does so uh, these are our new uh, meal solutions that are on right uh, now for the fall so speedy lasagna oh, super awesome awesome to make um, 
<sighs> Super easy. 15 minutes in the microwave with our multi-purpose steamer and it just tells you what ingredients you need. Uh, look, look, like there's like no sugar, like one sugar, one fiber equals out. No sodium in this, which is pretty cool. And this will feed, feed six people. And that's 15 minutes in the microwave with our multi-steamer and another five minutes for it to uh, set and, and rest. And then away you go to eating lasagna. And then we have shepherd's pie. Again, lots of uh, instructions and ingredients all right here for you to figure out how to do this um, easily in the microwave and away you go so that you can be again eating in like less than 30 minutes. I think it's like 20 minutes for this one. I honestly haven't tried it yet. I'll be, I need to do this one. And then the tuna casserole, oh, yeah, so good. Again, it gives you options for making a vegetarian um, as well as here it does it as well and uh, full of greens, so six servings. And yeah, so those are our new uh, meal solutions. Tuna casserole, shepherd's pie, and speedy lasagna. Totally say, give them a try. And then our new desserts, which have been a huge hit, uh, is our gluten-free uh, gingerbread and gluten-free uh, pumpkin loaf. But it's just like our brownies, if you've tried our brownies, but you haven't, you gotta try the brownies. Gluten-free brownies, so awesome. It's just like buying any grocery, or sorry, any brownie package or whatever you buy in the grocery store that you just add your liquid to, except that ours is a little healthier, or a lot healthier. Um, so you just add your liquid ingredients and you will have uh, the gluten-free, you can see better, gluten-free pumpkin spice loaf and gingerbread. And these actually can be made right in the microwave too, which is super cool. If you're looking for quick, 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 like four to six minutes and you'll have it ready to go. If not, if you're an oven person, everything here that I've said that can go in the microwave goes in the oven too, or stove top, it doesn't matter. It's just, if you're someone who's okay with the microwave, give it a shot and you'll see it's pretty yummy. Uh, it's literally, um, here for gingerbread, it says eggs. I don't use the eggs. I use applesauce instead. Um, some molasses and you mix and this is ready to go. Gluten-free, put in the pure pumpkin, pureed pumpkin with some eggs, but I use applesauce again. And then again, there's so many different ways. So delicious. And it's two for $10 uh, for these. All right. Let us give this a try because I feel like we are pretty much ready to go. Oops, I haven't used this for anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. There you go. So this is uh, our pad thai, <laughs> made differently, I know, but with cauliflower and, and yellow beans. Um, I'm going to uh, just put it into a lettuce wrap, which I will show. Find some lettuce uh, that I had washed and dried. I'll just grab one. Use my bowl. Probably a little much in the door's lap, but anyway, I would just wrap it up yeah, and eating it on a plate that wouldn't be so messy. <laughs> and then, uh, and then squeeze my lime on it. Well, what you can do that there, finish it off. And this is our two-in-one citrus press, so you can do lemons and limes, uh, small one, big one, whatever, and away you go. So there you go. Lettuce, a pad thai chick chicken lettuce wrap that I will eat when it cools down a little. And I've got lunch and breakfast for today. Uh, there you go. So any questions about Pad Thai, what I've done, Epicure, the business, what this is all about, like to be honest, the best thing or the most amazing thing I can offer you is having your own Epicure business just like me, uh, where you get your discounts, you get paid, you get to share, you get to enjoy uh, this amazing business just by sharing food which we all eat and love and if this is something you'd love to do and make some money on the side or turn it into a full-on business, um, I'm all available to chat about it, basically. So there you go. Uh, yeah, have a beautiful day, and I hope to uh, hear from you guys soon. Um, yeah, bye.